Um, I don't know if any of you guys go to the Pigeon Poetry, and I know my five minutes have started, but Kai Davis, who hosts the, um, the Late Ish Show, which is down at 12th and Ridge, um, just was selected as Poet Laureate of Philadelphia. Oh, and I, shit. Yeah, so, Huge crowd there on Friday night. I think because everybody knew that she's uh, the new Port Laureate. But so get tickets now, so that people realize that they should move to the Kimmel Center and we could fill that. So that's my my plug. <laughs> um, you need glasses. Um, so I realized I had I had this old poem that I couldn't show to my students, so I show it to you guys. <laughs> Um, it's a little long and it's got a lot of expletives. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but it's all about learning and education. All right. Uh, and I've never read this before. I don't even remember writing it, but I remember feeling it. The gathered masses of the classes sit expectantly waiting with education glasses on their minds. Meek Mill's cousin to my left in the blue and a Nicki Minaj wannabe. So what are you going to do? Karate Kid classics are just some of the facets and a tacit understanding of my school. Mumbo rap permeates the back and the bass is always flapping as a rule. The day is getting started, the smoke, the crack of the dawn. They smoke the crack of the dawn. They may not own any books, but their uniform's on. It's not the crack in a pipe or the drugs in every womb, and I'd like to say I'm better, but I'm joining them soon. It's a mass incarceration and an economic boom because we're all involved in the projects of this motherfucking classroom. My kids are just as horny as I was at 16, but we facilitate the problem, and you might know what I mean. I've been all around the city, but I've not been where they've been. I've, fought many, I've not fought many wars since they've been on the scene, except I'm a veteran of the classrooms, and I'm no longer green. And I'd like to tell you some things about what I've seen. It's about the powers that be, and it's not just Trump, because they're just like you and me, and we're all lost in the funk. If you want a better world, we've got to put up it, put all put in the time, and sometimes that means that it won't always rhyme. But it's all in the intention, and heart is where it counts, whether the beat is simple or that shit makes you bounce. I can look like Macklemore, and I, I probably do, but I'm better at teaching, and I could be better at it too. I've learned I can't do it all alone, and it's like sweeping back the sea. And it's a shit ton easier when there's more than just me. So teachers, roll up your dockers while your kids roll up in school. Get your feet wet in the ocean and make yourself the fool. You've got to let them know that you care before they care what you know. But it's going to take a lot of effort no matter where, wherever you go. But many hands make light work, so my mother's saying goes. And she knew what she was saying, just learn these fucking flows. <laughs> but it's harder to get through it if you try to walk around. It's like looking for new clothes and the lost and found. They say the top of the heap's got the money to invest, and little people like you should do their very best. Like it's a morality play, and the rich are all gods, and if we do the right thing, then we'll be dealt the winning cards. Just buy a lottery ticket like they're going out of style. I say throw your money in the middle and burn the whole fucking pile. Because knowledge should be free, though it's locked in a big box store where Walmart and Brothers Coke make politicians personal crack whores. And you're the crack that they're smoking and the food for all their pipes and the degrees you earn in high school are just used as baby wipes. Because the ink's already dry on the certificate of your futures and your dreams are taped together with ineffective sutures. Our public schools are permanent emergency rooms where you can only be triaged to fill Section 8 tombs. It's a sausage factory in the middle of the barrio where my own Yale education doesn't enter the scenario. I want to serve filet mignon like I got it in my classes, but the sausage is all I get to feed the fucking masses. In my classroom, I'll have 30, maybe 55 across the floor, and I'll set up to serve them till they're yelling for more. But the fact of the matter is, they're disenfranchised in every way, so long as politics in America is just a game of pay to play. Five minutes. I'll just say, um, that was sort of tough, but uh, I did represent Pennsylvania at the Gates Foundation for two years. And, and I would hope that uh, if I ever got that meeting with Dr. Haidt, I could have given them $150 million they offered us. But since I never got a meeting with Dr. Haidt, I wrote that poem. So 